In my feelings versus furthest thing. This one's really not easy oh, for me. Oh, come on. What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most persuasive show on the internet. My name is Riley, as always, joined by my whip smart co host, Graydon. Two plus two is nine. Today, we're once and for all deciding the best Drake song. This is our Drake, Drake song bracket. bracket. There are simply too many hits. Today, we're doing an 128 song bracket. We're going to play it out March Madness style and decide what the best Drake song is. Before we even start, comment your favorite Drake song down in the comment section and let us know what we left off at the end. First round, we hear a clip of the songs, and then after that, we just play it out. Before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, HiveMindTV.com for our merch. We also have a collection over on Coach's website. That's linked in the description. We also have a second channel now, Hive Mind Unlimited. And as always, we have our Patreon and our Cameo linked in the description as well. Thanks to everybody who rocks with us for real. Now, usually our brackets are 64 songs, but Drake has 72 platinum songs at time of recording. So yeah. we would literally be cutting platinum songs yeah. from the Drake song bracket if we did a normal one. And that don't seem fair to someone who's put in that much hard, hard work. <laughs> yeah. First matchup, we've got... Oh, a fair one. I love when we start with a fair one. Marvin's Room versus Way Too Sexy. Way Too Sexy doesn't even belong in this, like, universe. <laughs> I hate that song <laughs> with a burning passion. Fuck that nigga that you love so bad. Hold back your tears, fellas. I'm too sexy for this sir. Too sexy for your guy. I should text her. That's the one that makes you think about your ex. What the? You got this Drake shit backwards. Yeah, I miss you, baby. What the? <laughs> Marvin's room? Yep. Next, we've got Feel No Ways versus Hold On, We're Going Home. Oh, what a, what a weird matchup here. And now you're trying to make me feel away on purpose. That is one of my favorite Drake songs of all time. Yeah, it's Pro really good. Production reminds me of Blood Orange. It's like such an interesting song. It's slept on in a certain way, but real Drake fans, that's a favorite. Like I remember Tyler, the creator, said that was his favorite Drake song. Yeah. And he asked Drake to play it at Camp Flogna, but instead Drake got booed off stage because they were expecting Frank Ocean. Just hold on, we're going home. It can't beat it though. What do you mean? Feel No Ways is great, but it can't win here for me. I hate that these two songs are up against each other because I feel like they both fill specific niches for Drake. Like Hold On, We're Going Home is a really special song. Like mm -hmm. I love that it was on the radio. It felt very different for Drake and he pulled it off. Great singing performance. Mm -hmm. But Feel No Ways is one of my favorite Drake songs ever. So I'm going Feel No Ways. Our first Grant Decider here. I'm going Hold On, We're Going Home. Oh my God. Feel, feel No Ways, ways is out losing in the first round. In the first round. I will let you guys know right now, that is in my final four, personally. Well, maybe you could make your own bracket after this, <sighs> just with a little webcam in your room alone with a candle lit. Now we got Sandra's Rose versus Time Flies. Okay. Worms, I just opened up a can of those. My mother had a flower shop, but I was Sandra's Rose. Worms, I just opened up a can of those. <laughs> that's such a funny line. I, I've never really thought about it, but that's really funny. Because it's not a double entendre. Yeah. He's just like using the phrase yeah. in a funny way. Eat worms. Uh, hey, where are your cans of worms? Um, aisle six, right next to the whoop ass. <laughs> I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT. In my personal bracket, that one goes super far. This is Time Flies for me. Yeah, it's Time Flies for me as well. Sanders Rose is not one of my favorite on Scorpion. I know a lot of people love it. It's good, but Time Flies is top two or three on Dark Lane demos for yeah. me, so. I really like Sanders Rose, but Time Flies, that something about that melody is just always stuck with me since that song's come out. Yeah, I remember you singing it yeah. a lot after it came <laughs> out. Now we got Diplomatic Immunity versus Sacrifices. No. Oh, Grant, you were putting all of my favorite songs against each other in the first round. We're only four matchups in. What are you doing? Diplomatic immunity, fuck em. All that peace and that unity. This is one of my favorite Drake singles of all time. Yeah. He is just rapping. It is all bars. A lot of quotables. And I'm convinced. I make sacrifices, I've been ballin'. Diplomatic Immunity is great and has a lot of bars, but it's not the song that Sacrifices is. Oh no, <laughs> Sacrifices has an amazing Two Chains verse, yeah. one of the best Young Thug verses of all time, no auto-tune, battle rap bars. Mm -hmm. Two Chains says, pretty girls like trap music, so I woke up with my wood heart. Yeah. <laughs> and Drake's great, and there's a whole atmosphere to that song that yeah. is just like, it's that tight little beat that, oh, it's just a wormy little song. I love Sacrifices. And it walks here. 
here. Yeah, we're more life boys. Except All right. I want to die. What was that? Like, I love the album More Life, but I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah, I pronounce it More Life. <sighs> Sad DJ Khaled. <laughs> Another one? <laughs> All right, now we got Tuscan Leather versus You and the Six. I hate this matchup, but it's obvious. Yeah. Heard from you lately, really relieve some pressure. Like, AB, I got your CD. You get an E for effort. One of the best Drake rapping performances of all time. Yeah. The beat is insane. He says he could go in for an hour on it. Really hate using his tone with you, mama. I really hate getting aggressive on his phone with you, mama. I don't need that. I love you in the six, though. You in the six is so good. It's just a phone call with his mom. He's so like, <laughs> and the beat is so good that it's fine. It's not one of my favorites on if you're reading this, it's too late because that project is near flawless to me. But yeah, Tuscan Leather walks here. Mm -hmm. Now we got Diamonds Dancing versus Knife Talk. Can they both lose? <laughs> <laughs> For real. We just cut some of my favorite Drake songs of all time and now I could do without either of these. Yeah, a draw. <laughs> both of them missed the playoffs. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> what a harsh melody. Got this shit in head, these pussies dropping like some motherfucking yeah. flies. Type of nigga that can't look me in. I hate Knife Talk, though. Me too. That's like it... my least favorite CLB song, one of them. I don't know what it is. I'm not convinced by it. Like him doing the Memphis thing. Yeah. Like it works on Jimmy Cooks, but on this song, I'm just like, I don't know. It doesn't do it for me. Yeah. It just takes less risks, I think, than Diamond Sansing did. Or Diamond Sansing just like goes in a direction where I'm not there for it. I mean, I'm I'm gonna take Diamonds Dancing. You're gonna take Knife Talk? Yeah. Okay. I'll probably take Diamonds Dancing too. Even though it's not that great of a song, it is sort of a classic. I can't wait for it to lose. Now we got Sticky versus Unforgettable. An interesting new old matchup here, but I know where I'm gonna lie. All that pumping up your chest, all that talk about the best, you know how sticky it gets. One of my favorite Drake songs in a while. Yeah, it reminds me of making my first million. When was that? Two days ago. You made a million dollars two days ago. Yeah, really? I was in Manhattan, made some money moves, and bow bow, I'm up. Daddy's up. <laughs> Santa, I got something for these bad bitches too. I mean, paparazzi on me trying not to get caught out. That shit hits different for me. Yeah. And so I just haven't had enough time with Sticky yet. I love the song. It's yeah. really good, but I can't choose it here. That's fair. I'm going to pick Sticky. I just really like that song right now mm -hmm. and Unforgettable. I don't come back to that often. Fair. I'm going to take Unforgettable. Grant is 15 years older than us and that bias is going to come to play today. He loves young money, but that's old money right there. <laughs> Absolutely. Time. Now we got Free Smoke versus Pound Cake. This is, it, I mean, uh, it's not hard, but it's a bad matchup. <laughs> I couldn't get a bill pay. You couldn't buy the real thing. I was staying up at your place. I love this song, the intro to More Life. Yeah, it's it, good. Yeah, I, it grew on me a lot. I know it's like a beloved Drake song. Like mm -hmm. a lot of people talk about this one as one of their favorites. And I didn't understand that for a minute. And then in re-listening, I've been like, damn, that song is crazy. It feels like one or two takes. Oh yeah. Like he had his energy right that day and it's a very clean, tight performance, but. Uh, after I was a Il Molino. A Soto Soto just talking women in Vino. The contract like 90. Oh, damn, Marino! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just get excited. Our other co-host, Dignan, he's really, he's good friends with Dan Marino. Oh, he's told you about that? He won't shut up about it, honestly. Ah, I was gonna tell you, I'm so excited. Yeah, one of my close friends who works on this show sometimes. Yeah, he's recently become friends with, that's cool, that's cool. He's sharing that with you. I, mean, I guess, it's annoying, I'll tell you that much. If you started hanging out with Paul Abdul. Oh, of American Idol, yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's sick, that'd be so fun. Yeah, and you wouldn't stop talking about it. I know, it's just that if I didn't start hanging out with Paul Abdul and just said I was, and then said a bunch of ridiculous stories, about her, it would be annoying, right? Are you implying something here? It's not a super believable story that he is friends with former Miami Dolphins quarterback and NFL legend Dan Marino. But we're all going over to his house this weekend for a cookout. If you want to come so you can prove, I don't know what you need. Like, why are you doubting him? It's whatever, dude. It's, I, okay, sorry. Yeah, we're, we're getting too lost in this. It's all right. Yeah. It's pound cake? It's easily pound cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of the best beats of all time. Did you see what the British dollar store is called? Is it pound cake? It's pound town. Pound town. <laughs> Really? <laughs> I saw a picture of it. Pound Town. Bought a ding dong at the dollar store, call that Pound Cake. Yeah. The pound's very similar to the dollar right now, so that joke only works for a small amount of, it only works right now. Mm -hmm. Next, we've got Headlines versus Nonstop. This is an easy matchup for yeah. me, finally. Now money over everything, money on my mind. Then she wanna ask when it got. This is one of my favorite old Drake songs. I am admittedly not super well versed in old Drake. I wasn't into him at the time, so it's all been like going back. Mm -hmm. But this one, I really like. Yeah, it's like it's an absolute classic. This a rolling, not a stop. Watch shit, don't never stop. 
It's the flow that got the block hot. She got super. Love the production on this one, but I cannot get over his delivery. Yeah, it sounds like he's either. asleep. It's a rolling, not a stop. What? Shit, no, stop. I feel like he's going for like a gritted teeth kind of like molly jaw delivery, and it just doesn't. <laughs> I'm not buying it. Yeah. And Headlines has a lot of nostalgia for me. Yeah, Headlines wins here. I do like when nonstop plays on ESPN. TSU versus what's next? This is an interesting matchup here. Business. Her daddy is not around. Her mama is not around. I watch her climb on the Her mama is definitely not around. Her daddy is definitely <laughs> not around. No one's home. It's just her. <laughs> creepy, creepy fucking hook. Amazing, amazing beat. And like the flow and the melody of it all is just, it's a really, really good song. It's just fucking sketchy. Yeah, it's so creepy. And there's like an R. Kelly sample in yeah. it too. It's okay, and Valentine's Day I sex, okay? We'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Okay? Yeah, what's next here for me? Oh man, it's so close. I'm actually kind of like 50-50 on it. It's strictly the creepiness of TSU that holds it back for me. The package, everything on the outside looks nice and then you open it up and it's like a nasty road killed squirrel with like a dress on that someone put googly eyes on. Okay. Well. And they're like, do you like it? And I'm like, no, you're fucking insane. <laughs> yeah. I don't want that as a gift. That's yeah. a mutilated little animal with a dress and googly eyes on it. It's disgust. It's demented. I'm gonna go with TSU here. I'm taking what's next. Fuck TSU. Yeah. Whoosh. I'm playing Roblox right now. I'm wearing wet socks right now. My beer got some hops right now. I'm calling the cops right now. <laughs> I'm stuck in a box right now. <laughs> I'm sitting on docks right now. I'm eating on locks right now. I'm checking my stocks right Fuck, now. That's where I was going. <laughs> I'm playing with rocks right now. I feel like a fox right now. Aww. <laughs> Next one, we got How About Now versus From Time. Flipping myself off. You ain't really fuck with me way back then, but how about now? Cause I'm up right now. Yeah, I really like associate this with TikTok, which is so weird. Really? It was on TikTok everywhere for a while, and that's like the most I heard it. I remember this just being played. Settling for better for you than a boy, huh? I love me. for the both of us. I have such a big nothing was the same bias. Yeah. It's clean, it's airy, it's beautiful, it's sexy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, it's from time for me. Yeah, it's from time for me as well. One thing that I will say that I've learned from listening to these 128 Drake songs so many times <laughs> is that that album has climbed to, it's my second favorite of all time now. Like, it is so good. Even a few days ago when I was with you, I said it was my top three and it wasn't in your top three. Yeah, but I really, I've just realized the genius of that album. It's and what I will say is that From Time is kind of bottom half for me. Yeah. Like, it's not my favorite on there. I, I love it, but it's just like, it's okay compared to the other songs mm -hmm. there. But but it easily beats How About Now. Yeah. Now we got Six Man versus Liability. This is hard for you, I know. Yeah. But I'm getting every single motherfucking thing I'm old. You gotta know I'm here to fuck. And this is another example. This is on the bottom half of if you're reading this is too late for me, but it's a banger. You twist on my head, I'm changing for you, changing for you. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, why does this song get me like this? I don't know, dude. It <laughs> literally gets me like this. You low-key get gelatinous. Like, yeah, you kinda it's like, hard. my yeah. legs go out. Yeah. yeah. It's such a new song, but I feel like he needed his whole career to make this song like what it is. I guess. It's an amazing piece of slowed down, beautiful sex music. It's liability for me, and I know the other one's gonna win, but that's just whatever. It's six man for me. Yeah, I'm taking six man. <laughs> that's fine. You lie and a piece of me dies. Race my mind versus I'm upset. Love this as a matchup. That's a fucking harp. And the, is it a Rick James interpolation? Mm -hmm. Right? Coming home intoxicated. I'm upset. Half a million on my head I can't accept, yeah. It made me Working on Dying production, which mm -hmm. was a huge moment, but it was one of the most critically panned Drake singles of all time, and I get why. Yeah. It's boring, <laughs> and his, I just don't like the way he delivered on it. Yeah. Beat is cool. It's like really nocturnal, you know? Yeah, he kind of has that sleepy, gritted teeth delivery too here that I just can't buy into. Yeah. And Race My Mind is beautiful, and he really bellows it out. I'm easily going to race my mind here. Me too. Yeah. Now we got Landed versus Don't Matter to Me. I gotta land, I'm a sticky. Baby, let it go and you gon' miss it. Go this way. Eh, that song didn't really do it for me. I like that song a lot. Don't matter to me what you say. 
Michael Jackson. Very tough to compete with shit off Scorpion for me, too. I have a huge Scorpion bias. Yeah. This song is also one of my least favorite off Scorpion, though. I it's do, it's eh, good. It's fine. I, I really don't know. like it. I mean, I'll take it over Landon, but yeah. it's not one of my favorites. Over My Dead Body versus Miss Me. Oh, this one's kind of hard for me, actually. A little tough. These are two old Drake songs that I really like. <laughs> Sam, oh knows well who the knows. Yeah, I mean that song's really cool. Great sample, intro to take care. Yeah, it's rare with the old Drake stuff that it maintains like the atmosphere I feel like it had when it came out. You know what I mean? Because he's always like so on point with what's going on. Yeah, now. He's, he's of the time. He very much dates himself. Yeah, but this one kind of lives on and is like still a very enjoyable soundscape. Think I killed everybody in the game last year. <laughs> Fuck it, I was on though. I used to be around more, but you should miss me a little. Great Wayne feature, and I feel like Drake, although we heard the singing part, I think Drake's rapping performance on that is better than most of his old Wayne collabs. Yeah, and same can be said for the singing. I feel like the way they treat his vocals and do that like harmony in there is different and makes it feel cool. See, I don't like the way he sings on that song. Like, it just doesn't feel like it fits as well. I like it. I don't know, it's okay. I would rather listen to Over My Dead Body than Miss Me. Every day of the week. Now we got Jungle versus One Dance. Seems like a tough matchup, but it's not for me. These days, I'm letting Guy handle all things above me. Top four for me. That song is insane. For some reason it always makes me think of my rival high school in high school when I was in high school. <laughs> my rival high school. Uh, their mascot was the Panthers and their gymnasium was painted like a jungle. Really? And being a guy from the Midwest, that's really my only frame of reference for the jungle. Yeah, totally. Is that gymnasium? Uh -huh. So when I hear this song, I picture myself dropping a 20 piece in there. <laughs> so wait, it was like a rainforest cafe or Low something? Key, yeah, like the whole back wall behind the hoop was like leaves and vines and the panther was like ripping through it. It was a great mural. Really wow, good. Wow, that's yeah. incredible. I want to go there. It's gone. Oh, they tore it down? They tore it down and renamed it after me, after my last game there. <laughs> they renamed the rubble after you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. I need a one dance, got a Hennessy in my hand. Love this song. Me I too. think it's great when it's on the radio and it's cool to dance to and all that shit, but Jungle washes it. Yeah. I was gonna say, these are two songs that I love to hear, but Jungle is like on a different level. Yeah. Now we got Over versus Ignite shit. It's far from over. All right, bottles on me, long as someone drank it. Ironically, I think I was listening to that as I pulled up to that gym. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah that is your warm up song. <laughs> One twice over, I'm the new 11. And if I die, I'm gonna do a reppin'. I never do a second. I don't love Drake's rapping on that song, but I, that beat holds up in a certain way. Yeah, it sounds like Baby Tron. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's Sounds like a baby Tron beat, you're right. It has like that old, I can't piece that sample right now and we're not playing samples, so I'm not gonna try too hard yeah, to think okay. about yeah, it. I'm not gonna to strain myself. You don't have to guess. It's not that game. Got it, it's so I'm not. not that game, don't guess. It, it has that vibe of like the fast modern percussion or rhythm on top of that old funky sample. Yeah. That, that sped up 1.5 speed, baby Tron smacks it. Oh, absolutely. Ignant shitty boys. Ignant shitty boys. Yeah. That being said. It's over. Yeah, it's over. I mean, over is a smash hit. Hit classic Drake song. Hand over fist. It wins here. All right, now we got Energy versus Jaded. Yeah, come on now. Easiest one of the day. I got enemies, got a lot of enemies, got a lot of people trying to drain me at No, well, based on your impassioned performance there, I think this might be easy for us in different directions. Oh, shit, are you serious? I am. All right. Yes, I'm hurting, yes, I'm jaded. Most of these high dollar sign in the background yeah. there. They put him in like a metallic cave in outer space and he's <laughs> screaming it down to yes, I'm jaded. The lyrics for Jaded make me feel uncomfortable. I love it. It's one of my favorites on the R&B half of Scorpion, but it's easily energy for me. Energy is like an all time classic banger. It's great when someone else plays it, but literally I have never been by myself and queued up energy and I've listened to Jaded by myself hundreds of times. Well, you do a lot of nasty stuff with yourself, like when you're on your own. No, yeah, see, exactly. That's the reason you don't listen to energy. Yes, it's real Jaded. Grant, what are you going with? I'm taking energy. <laughs> It's yeah. fine. All the R&B shit's gonna win for me, and that's fine. I just want our viewers to know that, that that's like, um, that's me. All right, now we got You Only Live Twice versus Take Care with Rihanna. God, she's good. 2.2 .2 for the rap, Rihanna Dow. 
Don't act like you're happy for me now. Uh, this song is produced really weird. There's something like, aw like it sounds poorly produced, but I love it, like as a song. Just old. No, it's not. Oh, this is CLB. Yeah, yeah this one does. It's it not sounds old. That's like what I mean. Old it Drake. sounds yeah. old. That's yeah. that's why it's weird. Cause that truth hurts and those lies heal, and you can't sleep thinking that he lies still, so you cry still, tears all in a pillowcase. That's like national anthem shit. Yeah, I, it wins here for me, Take Care does, but it's one of my least favorite on Take Care. Fair, it's just, you can't deny like the, it's synonymous like with yeah. Canada. He's just made <laughs> so many better like dancey songs yeah. since then that it just like pales in comparison. One of his first forays into that though too. Yeah. Next we got Wants and Needs versus Blem. Easy. Come with a classic, they come around years later and say it's a sleeper. Banger. I got sense. I'm Blem for real, I might just say how I feel. Maybe the best hi-hat of all time. <laughs> it just throws me around. Yeah, no, it's it's cool. I like wants and needs more than this song. It's blem super easy for me. I'm taking wants and needs. Yikes, I feel, I almost feel torn bad up. for you. Like, I don't care. Yeah, it just seems like, you know, it seems like you've got a lot of like an angry lion inside of you, you know? They know I like Blem more. They know, they know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm Blem for real. Now we got back to back versus Ratchet Happy Birthday. <laughs> We're gonna disagree again here. Back to back. I don't wanna hear about the seven again. Oh my god, this song is fucking ruthless. In re-listening to this, it just like brought up that whole era. I just yeah. remembered what was happening. Just like, is that a world tour or your girls tour? Like, oh gosh. Serious. Like, you guys Speaking. finally started rapping again? Like, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I like remember where I was when I heard this song. Yeah. Like 9-11 shit. Yeah. Wait, you were at 9-11 Memorial when you heard that song? It's a weird fucking place to listen to Drake, bro. They hit the towers back to back. <laughs> it's, your it's your fucking birthday. I love that song. <laughs> I really do. I like that song. It doesn't beat back to back, but Ratchet Happy Birthday gets too much hate. I'm kind of of a similar opinion. Like, I think it's fun yeah. and it's very stupid and kind of like cheesy, but I mean, I don't know. It's better than like the one they sing at Applebee's. We're literally talking yeah. about Drake here too. Like yeah. it's hard to be like, oh, he's too cheesy. Like he can do that and pull it off. Like that's his <laughs> beauty, I feel like. I don't think he pulled it off. It's cheeky and guys like us might be able to enjoy it, but I think other people heard it and were like, what? What the fuck is he doing? I like that song. It's your fucking birthday. It's fire. I think he wanted it to be like, yeah. you know what he wanted. Of course. He wanted this to be the birthday song. It is for me, Drezzy. For me, it's the one with 2 chains and Kanye. Juicy Slide versus Live from the Gutter. Here we go. Did it go right foot up, left foot slide, left foot up. Right for slide. My hottest Drake take of all time. That song is not only good, I think it's phenomenal. I really like 2C Slide when it came out, but it hasn't aged that well for me. I still love listening to this song. Yeah. The production is so cool. I think that hook is well written and it's got some bars on it. Like, I, I don't know. I get why people hated it because it felt like a plea to be on TikTok mm -hmm. and be like, have a TikTok song for Drake. But at the same time, I like it. Reporting live from the gutter, I will buy this motherfucker, it's not even a discussion. It's better than that song. I mean, What A Time To Be Alive, I admittedly didn't like the same way other people did, and that's not one of my favorites on it either. Same. Tusi's going all the way. Now we got Hell Yeah Fucking Right versus Can I. Can I say hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Can you imagine Lil Wayne being sexy with someone? Yeah, I yeah, I think so. You know what I mean though? Like you got like Drake's easy, like I can picture him in a dark room, like sup ma, like yeah, doing yeah. some moves, but like to picture Lil Wayne in an intimate setting is kind of hard. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> weird. Yeah, it's a little strange. Imagine Wayne leaning in on a smooch for you. <laughs> My second biggest hot take of this whole bracket is that this song isn't good. Drake's verse is literally like offbeat and terrible. Like I don't like listening to this song at all. I think my hot take is that it's not good or bad. It's a very middle of the road Drake song and it's treated as either or. Well, I feel like a lot of people consider it a classic and one of the best Drake songs of all time. Lil Wayne's part's great, mm -hmm. but Drake is so bad on this song that it makes it unlistenable for me. Can I? Get in on the sense of fun you're writing up, baby. Cause all we ever talk about is me. Can I? I mean, that's like <laughs> orgasm stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Can I? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> like this, like the pacing there is like. I think it's Can I. It's Can I. Wow. I feel like that's gonna upset people. I hope so. They tuned in to get upset. Say what's real versus fake love. Los Angeles Cabanas or Atlanta South watching whole show embarrassed to pull my camera out. Great beat here too. Yeah, it's Kanye beat, yeah. right? It's like an 808's Kanye beat. Mm -hmm. I got fake 
people showing fake love to me straight up to my face. One that's aged with me really well. Yeah. For whatever reason, his singing, the way he like fits it into his rap cadence is so cool in this song. Yeah, I feel like he took what he was doing on, if you're reading this, it's too late, where he has that kind of big bop bop, like that type of voice, and then did it singing mm -hmm. over a Hotline Bling type of instrumental. So I remember when it came out, people were like, oh, he's trying to make Hotline Bling part two. He's trying to have another hit in that vein. Sure. But as time has gone on, they're very different songs. Yeah. And this one has, it, it's a hit, yeah. you know? But I think Say What's Real is a better song. It's fake love for me. I'm taking fake love, yeah. Okay, now we got Shot For Me versus No Telling. You're always getting faded, take a shot for me. I mean, this is really good for me off Take Care. Really? Oh, God, yeah. I hate that hook so much. Uh, mm -hmm. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> I don't know. It's always been so awkward to me. There's things I like about that song. I yeah. don't just hate it, but I'm saying like, I just, the hook is rough. I remember stealing my mom's Michelob Ultras and like listening to that song being like, here I go, I got you, Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> she invite me to the telly, keep the blade with me when I go to check a bitch, ain't no telly. Yeah, police. Nostalgia wants me to choose shot for me, but I like no telling better. Yeah, no telling is crazy. That beat, <sighs> charged up versus too good. Very different songs. Here. Yeah. Niggas ain't about to starve us. I'm charged up. This one got a lot of hate, but oh man, that beat is like murderous. It's stuff. creepy. <laughs> oh God. It's creepy, but he doesn't match it. I think he does. I do wish I had heard Pusha T on that beat. Yeah. Cause it is like grimy. It just doesn't fit what he does in my opinion. I hope you can take it all. I'm too good to you. I'm way too good to you. That song's fun. I love that song. It wins here pretty easily for me. Oh yeah, same here. When I hear this one in Spotlight, they work this into the mixes. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm too good for you. Such a groove. <laughs> now we got Girls Want Girls versus Teenage Fever. Yeah, say that you a lesbian girl, me too. Hey, girls want girls where I'm from. I have so little to say about this song, and I'll say it, bad. You wouldn't have Central C if you didn't have Girls Want Girls, you know? Great, so we have Drake to blame for that too. <laughs> And that's, uh, that's really good. That's like <laughs> one of my favorite Drake songs on repeat all the time. I love Teenage Fever. It's like a weighted heated blanket on you with yeah. someone's hands between your toes. Little glow in the dark stars on your ceiling. The J-Lo sample and the songs about J-Lo. God damn. Okay, we got uh, Scholarships versus Wu-Tang Forever. Easy. Yeah, I rock Kentucky blue on these hoes. Drafted, I'm getting chewed by these hoes. Usually they just leave. I kind of like that song. It's fine, but that album's so low on the list of every, it's just like a, it's fine. Get a ship alone and nobody is yours. It's yours, it's yours. I love Wu-Tang Forever, but it's another one. I just do not like the hook on this song at all. I love Wu-Tang Forever. <laughs> it's yours. <laughs> I just like, like he should, I don't know. He raps so hard at the other parts that it just makes it feel so weird. He's saying his love is I, for you. Yeah. He, <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> all of his love. Yeah, all his, yeah. I mean, Wu-Tang Forever wins here. Easily, yeah, it's just a more sophisticated tune. Now we got Still Here versus November 18th. Blow up and I'm in the city still. I'm still here, dog. How did I finesse all of Kind of a classic there. That flow is like undefeated. Mm -hmm. Telling you a Polish winter down in the winter, and I be riding rails with my tires. One of my least favorite songs on this list, yeah. easily. Mm -hmm. I can't believe that song. And I know I oozed and goozed for the slowed and reverbed in liability, but I'm not oozing nor goozing for this one. I was gonna say he had to do that all the way back then to get liability. So I'm saying liability <laughs> is the accumulation of an entire career here. Because November. 8th, 18th, he's doing like specifically the DJ screw yeah. thing. Like he's trying to do not slowed and reverged, but right. chopped and screwed. Right. And then he literally is like, girl from H town. And he's <laughs> like, I say I'm Drizzy and I'm not realist. <laughs> I'm yep. not still here. Easy. Now we got summer 16 versus show me a good time. I'm out here looking for revenge. All summer 16. Playing dirty, not clean. Amongst Drake fans, I feel like this one is still a classic. Too. It's a classic to me. Yeah. I remember listening to this one all the time. All Summer 16. All Summer 16, I was listening to this one. And looking for revenge. The brand. Like X was wearing it, so I, I just kind of wanted to, you know. Baby, show me a good time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But show me a good time. I feel like that personifies what you hate about old Drake. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I don't like this song. Yeah. I love Summer 16. Yeah, it's Summer 16, easy here. Okay. Show me a good time. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, now we got Mob Ties versus Money in the Grave. Okay, this is a good matchup. This is a good matchup. Yeah. I fought with a mob and I got ties. 
Knock you off to pay the ties. They want me gone, but don't know why. A quick one. Oh my gosh, this song is crazy. Some velocity on that bit. It's like a fucked up Young Thug Gunna type mm -hmm. beat thing, but he is just on a different timing on that song. Yeah. The stuff that he says, and I know it's been torn apart because people think that it's like a conspiracy theory that that song's about XXX and Tacion's death. There's a lot of stuff tied to it, but just as a song to listen to, it's my favorite off Scorpion. Aside from maybe one or two of the singles that I think are like It's classics. bottom half for me, but it's still very good. When I die, I put my money in a crack. When I die, I put my money in a grave. I really, really like this song too. It's not one of my favorites. It's the gritty teeth delivery Drake exactly. thing that I don't really like, but it does have a good bounce to it. And it's got Rick Ross on it. Yeah, it's, it's mob ties though. Now, last one on this side, we got All Me versus Legend. That's all me, all me for I real. touched down in 86, knew I was a man by the age of six. <laughs> that one's fun. Oh my God, oh my God. If I die, I'm a legend, oh my God. Maybe my favorite off that. Oh yeah, I mean, Legend's really good. Legend walks here. All me's great, but Legend just the pace in there is so cool. And not to mention the sample, so anxious. Oh, you mentioned. You said not to mention. I thought you weren't gonna mention it. I thought we were gonna bond over this. Hey, yeah. So I, anxious, genuine. I love so anxious. But you said not to mention. You could see how that was misleading. I love the way you talk in dirty said I'm. It's one of the best songs of all time. I honestly. love that song. Okay, we're on the other half now. We've got Know Yourself versus Practice. Know yourself. God, I mean it's a tough matchup here. <laughs> I was running through the six with my walk. You know how that shit go. Probably my second favorite off this after Legend. Okay, yeah. Oh, I remember this coming out and being like, what the fuck is he on? <laughs> who, what, who gave Drake steroids? <laughs> Who's the six? Yeah. <laughs> did a lot for my city too, that song. Really? Yeah, Toledo, Ohio. That's the six. It's it did not. a lot for us for the city. He really turned the city up. So oh. thank you, Drake. Thanks, Drake. They will practice. Yeah, for me, for me. Know yourself. <laughs> yep. <laughs> not gonna say much about that song. I almost dozed off. All right, now we got, oh man, this is actually kind of tough. We got eight out of 10 versus Texco Green. So this is kind of tough. If shit was at a eight, we like to make it 10. One to send it sin, I'm going up all the- Your wifey, your wifey, yeah. your wifey. <laughs> this is a classic. It has only grown in popularity since the album came yep. out. Like it is just one that everybody talks about being the best on Scorpion. Mm -hmm. Too rich for who, y'all just got rich again. Mm -hmm. Who grips the mic and likes, likes to, to kill their friends. Yeah. The opening of that song is just so electric. Yeah. When you Tesco Green is a little different though. I'm gonna be honest right now. Yeah. I don't know what that means. What? I does does that mean you're blocked? Texco Green? Yeah. Well, Texco Green for you all the time because you have an Android. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. So what happens is if you have an iPhone and you're texting somebody and it's all blue and then they block you, when you send a text, it would turn green because it got sent as a text message and not an iMessage. Ah. Texco Green, so it's a little different. I mean, that's what it, yeah. I assumed, but yeah. I just wanted, wanted to make it clear. I'm not gonna lie. I don't have iPhone. Uh -huh. I know like Steve Jubes. Buying an Android, that's kind of a cell phone. You know what I mean? Cell phone. Eight out of 10 for me. It's close though. Yeah. Tesco Green's great. It just hasn't. You know, I need a few more summers with it. Next, we got Madonna versus Too Much. Super easy for me. You could be big as Madonna, just get in the car and then let's touch the road. Don't make other. Bottom three on this project for me. Oh, no. Madonna's so good, dude. <laughs> no way. That's she's, bottom three. She's so old. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Too much, too much. I mean, that introduced us to Samp. Well, not me. Subtract introduced me to, to Samp. I'm saying the greater us. Yeah, no, I understand. You know what I mean? It's too much for me, by the okay, way. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> too much is an amazing song. I'm not picking Madonna over it, but I think Madonna is slept on. I love that song. Make Me Proud versus Lemon Pepper Freestyle. Next. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so proud of you. I'm so, I'm, so, I'm so proud of you. I mean, this is like, I don't know. It's just the case of so of the time. Cause I admittedly listened to this song a lot back in the day. But like, if you're out here still bumping that, make like, me proud. Listen yeah. to some new music. There <laughs> is, we evolved way past make me proud. The music doesn't sound like this anymore. Cause it doesn't need to. We got better at it. Let me get a lemon pepper order, please. You gotta head a link before you order these. Gas pack. Oh, that song is so good. It has only gotten better. You're right. It has only gotten better. First day of school, big day for my little man. <laughs> now we got After Dark versus The Motion. What a weird matchup here. In a whip solo, no one's gotta know. After Dark. 
<laughs> I have visceral memories listening to this song. I remember you saying after Scorpion came out, you're like, After Dark might be my favorite Drake song ever. Yeah, this is, if not top four, this is final eight for me. Still holds up? Big time. Okay. After Dark. Him and Ty dollar sign linking up is better than him in future. That's my hot take. Yeah. But I guess that's just emotion. Yeah. Then that phone doesn't. He's got his dad on bass oh there. Oh my god. Yeah, his uncle. Yeah. Larry Graham. Yeah. <laughs> the bass is amazing on that song, mm -hmm. but it's kind of a sleeper. It's a snoozer for me. Yeah. After Dark wins here and hopefully keeps going for me. Now we got No Friends in the Industry versus Ice Melts. <sighs> Oh, I don't know. No friends in the industry. My brothers been my brothers, man. You niggas ain't no kidding me. Up. One of the better tracks off that album, I will say. Ah, the song title is a lie. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, look at the track list. Yeah. He's got Future and Young Thug and 21 Savage. He's got a ton of people on there. Those, mm -hmm. are, those are his friends in the industry. Yeah. Like, he's got friends in the industry. I still need some satisfaction. A little less talk and a little more ass. It's ice melts oh. here, but no friends in the industry goes hard. I love personally that on More Life, Drake has Young Thug on Sacrifices doing the no auto tune, mm -hmm. rap, like gritty rap thing. And then on Ice Melts has him doing like acrobatic, yeah. melodic thing that Young Thug does. Ice Melts is fire. Yeah. Now we got Sneak In versus Fair Trade. This one's pretty easy. 21 Savage versus Travis Scott. But if the devil's in the details and I'm satanic, about to take over your city and you can't. Six, six, six. That's a great song. A <laughs> lot of memorables from that one. And the video for it is done by Gabe from Uzi. That sound like a fair trade to me. Look, don't invite me over if you throw another pretty party. A little tougher than I'd like to admit, but it is sneaking. Oh man, it's really close for me. Fair trade is one of my favorites off CLB. I don't love Travis Scott's part on it, but I do love Drake's hook. I think I'm gonna go fair trade. Really? Yeah. I think I like fair trade more. I'm taking sneaking. That's one of those that like either way I'm fine with. It's like a 50-50 split. Now we got Chicago Freestyle versus Massive. That's a weird matchup, but oh, fuck. Later you could show me things. <laughs> what do you want to see? I don't want to go. I don't want to. Yeah, I mean, that one makes me shake my ass, do shit I never have done before right. on the dance floor. <laughs> right, right, yeah. But when it comes down sure. to me and my headphones, it's Chicago Freestyle. Yeah, it's Chicago Freestyle, but Massive is such a good song. It's a blast. I'm happy it's happening. Yeah. I'm happy it's out there. I'm happy people have kind of seemingly come around on that whole project a little bit. Yeah. Or at least we've silenced the haters. <laughs> but Chicago Freestyle is just like... You know what I mean? <laughs> Worst behavior versus right hand. <laughs> oh no. Ooh, shoot. What am I gonna do? Motherfucker never loved us. I'm on my worst behavior. Don't you ever get it fucked up. Unbelievable track. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers never loved us. But you're my right hand. You're my go to. Tell me everything about you. <laughs> I'm glad they don't make too much club music like that anymore. So it's easily right hand, right? Your... Nice pump fake, bro. Thanks, man. Right hand is, it's funny. Yeah, it's as fun to listen to as any other Tyga song. It's better than most Tyga songs. Oh, yeah, sure. He's got <laughs> 71 platinum tracks. I'm sure he'd love to know he's better than Tyga. <laughs> 72. <clears throat> 72. Okay. Probably 73 by the time we're done filming. Next, we've got Blue Tint versus Used To. Look who I'm fucking again. I had on ice for day. I watched the ice get thin. Such a solid melody there. My only gripe, honestly, I really love that song and I love Future's feature, but mm -hmm. he is recorded so poorly. Yeah. Either his preset is wrong or he like had a sore throat that day or something. He's like, that was blue tint. Yeah. Smoked a cigar right before <laughs> he recorded. Uh, they don't love you like they used to, man. Way more gully gully than buddy buddy. Never need a jock. That one goes too. This one's really tough. They're kind of similar tunes for me. Yeah, they're close for me. I'm gonna go slight edge to used to. Yeah, it is a slight edge. Next we got War versus Galchester. There, nailed it. Sorry if I mispronounced that. I don't know how. No pretentious thing when I know this road gets bumpy. Word to the broski J, he got different names in different countries. Oh man, I love the beat for war. I really like it too. I know he's just doing an impression of UK rap stuff, but he does it so well. Yeah, he's a wonderful actor. <laughs> <laughs> Hermes Link, Ice Blue Mink. 
tat on my ribs like I do not know what- It's Galchester here. Uh, it's close for me, but I think slight edge to Galchester, yeah. War is like cool, and if I could remove the imposter type syndrome thing from it, I think I might like it more, but it's just that holding it back for me. Sebi's War remix though would wash it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and if you don't know what I'm talking about, just look up Sebi War on YouTube, it'll blow your mind. Now, In My Feelings versus Furthest Thing. This one's really not easy oh, for me. Oh, come on. Oh, no. That sounded like I was making fun of myself. Like, that's true. Yeah. That's like, that was my actual emotion. <laughs> Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me. I don't know why everybody perceived this as so cheap. Yeah, I don't get it either. Like, I guess I sort of get it, but to me, it's like when I first listened to Scorpion, because In My Feelings wasn't a single before mm -hmm. Scorpion. When I first listened through, I was like, oh man, he's yeah. got one. Like, this is crazy. I think it was just like the immediate memification of it yeah. that like made it perceived that way. Yeah. You Nobody know, the, remembers that dance either. Remember the whole like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The ghost riding the whip. Yeah, the whip thing, but it's just, it's mm -hmm. funny. Like, the song has outlived the dance. For sure. Farthest thing from perfect, like everyone I know. Drinking on low. Great song there, but In My Feelings is a powerhouse. I think it wins here. Oh, I don't know. This is so tough. That's such a classic. Like, I feel like a lot of people would consider Furthest Thing one of the best couple Drake songs. Yeah, it's lower half on that project for me, and that's one of my favorite projects. But In My Feelings is just like way, it's a bigger song. It's a bigger man that walks into the room. Yeah, in my feelings. Okay. <laughs> Kiki, no. did you say no? Yeah, I mean, I think most people will disagree yeah. with us. I just think it wouldn't be a hive mind bracket if in right. my feelings didn't win this one. It's a great track. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hit the comment section with it. You're valid. I'm looking at you. You're valid. Mm. I understand why you're angry. <laughs> Laugh Now, Cry Later versus KMT. <laughs> This is a simple walk, nice summer breeze, easy choice for me. Mm -hmm. Where did these niggas be at when they said they're doing all this and all that? I'm in the trenches, relax. Can you not pedal? <laughs> Without the Dirk feature, though, what is this song? Uh, still an amazing banger, number one type song. It's good. When I hear that out in public, every word, everyone knows every word. How long I've been on the street? Dream about working my sleep. Oh. Okay. KMT's hard. Yeah, KMT's really hard, but I think he just has other songs that are like this. Specifically on If You're Reading This, It's Too Late. I think he did this way better than yeah, KMT. I agree. So it's Laugh Now, Cry Later for me. It is. Champagne Poetry versus Finesse. Easy one for me, honestly. Yeah, same. Trust in my brothers is as strong as I know it should be. Future sign of contracts, he don't even show it to me. Masego flip of the Beatles song, awesome. Yeah. That's where it ends with that song. It takes some finesse. It's like a slow panning shot of candles where a little bit of wax is just going down mm. one of them, you know what I mean? It is sexy. Silk clothes are just falling off your body. It reminds me of John Stamos. Fuck yeah, it does. King Finesse himself. Champagne Poetry has no replay value. It's a, I think it's a cool song, like I'm glad he did it. Mm -hmm. And on CLB it's one of the better songs, but it's Finesse here. Yeah. Forever versus the motto. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why are these two against each other? I'm glad they are. Won't this shit forever, man? What's he say? He shouldn't shit down in the mall. Yeah, he shouldn't shit down in the mall. But he's got to. He has to shit down in the mall. Yeah. yeah. Little hack for everyone. He's got to shit down at the mall. Yeah. Go into one of the major department stores. They'll have little bathrooms in there, like a Macy's or Dillard's, Dillard's yeah. or Saks Fifth or something, and they're better and more private. Or the wishing fountain. Now she want a photo, you already know though You only live once, that's the motto, nigga YOLO And we bought it every day I hate that song <laughs> I mean, they are both I fucking hate it Oh my god, it's bad I don't like either of these I like Forever, it's fine I like the motto more I'll take Forever for like the like the legendary status of it I got a gripe with you, Grant How did Feel No Ways have to go up against Hold On, We're Going Home And you can put Forever versus the motto <laughs> Couldn't we just split that up? Like, what is the deal here? <laughs> Feel No Ways, top four Drake song of all time Loses first round and then we got forever versus the motto, which if they never existed, I'd be a happier person. Yeah, probably. <laughs> find your love versus God's plan. Oh, damn, this is tough. I better find your heart. I better find your love. Great old school melody there. One that kind of lives on, but. Bad things. It's a lot of bad things that they wish and they wish and they wish. God's plan's God's plan. Yeah, that's true. It is one of the better hit Drake songs, too. One of the best hit it, songs of our life. And people really shit on us for liking God's plan, like in every other video. Get over it. Yeah, it's a great song. It's and really good. We're men of God. God's plan. Hotline Bling versus.
live just on covers alone. Erica Badu's version of it is so good. The Hamiltones. Uh, yeah. 21 Pilots did one. I hear people just doing this like on the boardwalk. Got a toy trying to light the way, biting everybody, which is ironic, cause your next album probably won't ever see the light of day. What a silly little beat. <laughs> Goofy, I don't like it. <laughs> it's like when I the baby thing that happened with right. like he records over Flying Dutchman ass beats. This is that. It's a fine song. I get why it was a hit, but mm. like, ugh, it's goofy. Now we got Pain 1993 versus Preach. Niggas ain't gotta respect. Niggas just gotta accept. I put that top left. I love my Cody to death. Cody! I love Cardi's <laughs> verse. That, that melody he picked is just so cool for that beat. But obviously, Cardi's gonna sound good over a Pierre beat. I think it's funny when I was listening to these, I like I would just put the playlist on shuffle, and then just hearing Pierre's tag, I'd be like, oh, did something else? And they're like, oh no, I forgot. Drake has that song. Mm -hmm. Still in Miami. Most of these girls are too messy. That song's crazy though. Yeah, Drake living in Miami is just so cool. It seems like he's doing like so much cool shit every time he's in Miami. <laughs> yeah, I get, yeah. Drake's like made for Miami, man. <laughs> like if it wasn't Toronto, I yeah, I could see him living in Miami, buying real estate and stuff. Sure. I'm sure he already has. Sure. It's preach for me. Yeah, it's preach for me too. All right, now we got best I ever had versus fancy. Wow. Okay. Iggy Azalea and Charlie XCX's classic pop smash versus best I ever had. Mm -hmm. man, I say the same thing every single time. I say you the fucking best. You the fucking best. Sadly, that's gonna play at my wedding. Not the reception? It's gonna play during the yeah, ceremony? Probably when my dad gives me away. <laughs> really? Yeah, I think that'd be nice. He's sending me away. I'm the best son he's ever had, that's facts. You're the only son he's ever had. Damn right. That he knows of. What? Oh, you fancy, huh? Oh, you fancy, huh? Nail done, hair done, everything did. I love that fancy little track. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, and it walks here for me. Fancy beats it. <laughs> I, I put best I ever had over fancy. I'm thinking best I ever had. Yeah, I mean, it's not my favorite Drake hit. It's actually probably one of my least favorite Drake mm -hmm. hits, but it's better than fancy. They're similar to me. All right, Controller versus Up All Night. <laughs> Do things when you want me to, like Controller, Controller. God, what a rhythm he jumps into on that song. Also gonna play at my wedding. This is what I do. I'm about whatever, man. Fuck what they be talking about. They opinion doesn't count. I kinda like that song. It's like <laughs> a guilty pleasure for me. Yeah, it's like watching the Jersey Shore, though. <laughs> yeah, I guess. You know, yeah. like, this trash is funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's controller. Absolutely. Yeah. That's an adult song. Elevate versus Started from the Bottom. Kind of a fitting matchup here. I think so, too. Thinking how to make all this happened for myself and my family. Such an underrated song. How yeah. is that not a hit? First time I listened to Scorpion, I was like, damn, this is the one. There's only 30 tracks on Scorpion though, so it's <laughs> tough, you know, yeah. to kind of pull They can only out. pick a few. <laughs> I like when, when Nonstop became a hit, I was like, come on, it should have yeah. been Elevate. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Nigga started from the bottom, now we here. Least favorite on that album, probably. Yeah, I'm not like uh, smart enough to articulate it, but that song started something and it deserves the credit for that. I, I agree with that. You know? Yeah. There's something he does with his voice on that song that also kind of like predates, if you're reading this, it's too mm -hmm. late, where he gets into a certain bag that was like the new Drake bag. Yeah. But I just didn't like the song itself, you know? That's fair. These are two of my favorite projects going against each other, so it's kind of tough, but I lean started from the bottom here. I lean elevate. You want to take starter from the bottom. All right. I mean, it's a more iconic song by a lot, so I get yeah. it, but it just, I, I would prefer to listen to Elevate. With You versus Successful. I like both of these quite a bit. Right now, girl, where are you going? I'm with you. That is the only Drake song that sounds like that. Yeah, it sounds like The Lion King. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Yeah, you can hear the jungle creatures existing in harmony, kind of helping each other out. Yeah. The little mice are even riding on the lion's back. Oh, They're not yeah. afraid of them no mm -hmm, longer, because mm -hmm. God has restored that peaceful synergy. Yeah, it's a utopia. Mm -hmm. oh, I just wanna be, I just wanna be successful. These ones up against each other make sense, but. Successful is like a, another like turning point in Drake's career. Yeah. After that song, he became successful. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like the lion's gate was open for him. It's with you for me, like by a lot. I think we disagree. I figured we would. Yeah, it's successful. I'm gonna take with you. That's fine. 
Wow, he hesitated a lot. It just doesn't feel like a Drake song, really, to me. With yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, we talked about that because yeah. that almost wasn't going to be in the bracket. But I've been asking everybody in my life their favorite Drake song mm -hmm. in preparation for this. We've been preparing for this for like a month. Mm -hmm. And I asked my friend Anna, Anna Luna, mm -hmm. I was like, what's your favorite Drake song? She's like, oh, With You. And I was like, oh, I don't think that's on our bracket. And then I listened to it in my car and was like, man, <laughs> I forgot how great this yeah. song is. But. That happened with like 50 songs for me on this. Yeah. <laughs> Jumpman versus Jimmy Cooks. Jimmy Jimmy Cooks. <laughs> Jimmy Cooks. Yeah. We'll listen to him, but no. then we're just, we're not going to talk about no. it. No. Jump in, jump in, jump in, and boys up to something. Uh huh, I think I need some Robitussin. So annoying, that flow. <laughs> I hate that that song ever even got me. Fuck a pigeonhole, I'm a night out, it's a different mode. I'ma have to make a pain of six on a- Woo! I'm already kind of sick of Jimmy Cooks, but anything on this bracket beats Jumpman for me. Yeah, I mean, we're existing in a time where honestly, never mind, has only been out a few months and Jimmy Cooks went number one and Massive is on the radio a lot. So, mm -hmm. you know, there's a little bit of that fatigue, but Jimmy Cooks is a good song. It is a good song and Jumpman's not a good song. And 21 Savage. <sighs> Goes crazy on Jimmy Cooks. Star 67 versus Passion Fruit. Oh shit. Fuck. No, this is just, this is like on par with Feel No Ways versus Hold On, We're Going Home for mm -hmm. me. Blowing up. Now I'm blowing up. They need a whole thing. Awesome track. It's a two-parter. Yeah. The beginning is so hard, then the second half is, oh, the, the phone ringing, the calls in it. Like, that song is otherworldly. Yeah. Ambitious for the time, too. Passionate from miles away. Passive with the things you say. <laughs> but it can't really hold a tooth to that. I love both these songs. These are both, like, Elite Eight type songs for me, to That's be honest. snare, though. No, I'm, I'm gonna go Passion Fruit. <laughs> Hype versus Lord knows. Me, I'm just done in a hype. Me, I'm just done, 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 done. I'll take it. It's a fine song. It's fine. There's some corn in it, but then it has moments that are redeeming. I'm more concerned with niggas thinking about Christmas in August. Do anything about gifts for their daughters. That one still holds up for yeah. me. Lord knows is crazy. And that production style has come full circle now, too. Yeah, I think that's a Just Blaze beat. I think so, too. No, it definitely is. Because, yeah, yeah, it sounds like something could be on the blueprint. Like, yeah. It's crazy. That's Lord knows, easy. 10 bands versus 0 to 100. <laughs> 10 bands, 50 bands, 100 bands, fuck it, man. Let's just not even discuss it, man. OMG. <laughs> 0 to 100, nigga, real quick. Real quick. Whole squad on the real shit. That one feels very timeless. I was kind of a Drake doubter when that song came out and I didn't like that one either. Like that run of singles didn't do much for me. I much prefer 10 bands. I'm on zero to hundred. I'll take 10 bands, I guess. <laughs> Grant, very <gasps> hesitant on the last couple tie breaks. Yeah. That song's low on my list for that album. Digital Dash versus Fire and Desire. <laughs> I never noticed how much we align on hating What A Time To Be Alive. And the weird thing is, is when it came out, I loved it. I guess it was just the excitement for like such superstars to be collabing on an album and yeah. I'm always a fan of big collaborations and I just wanted to like it that that carried me for about six months and then yeah. I was like wait a minute if this shit sucks. I just don't feel like Drake and Future are that good together. Their best song is one where they rap on different beats. Yeah. Like Life is Good is like really good separate Drake and Future. Mm -hmm. Michael fit you in on Wednesday. I'm not here for no pretend shit. Just walked in with a girl that's making triple what I'm making. Yeah. yeah. I just had to get it down. Yeah, you know what I mean? no, I understand. <laughs> it's not that bad. Oh, it's booty butt. You just like my sidekick. I just want to ride. Fulfill all your desires. Now, I'm not going to play that at my wedding, but I'm going to play it the same day, if you know what I mean. Right when you wake up, yep, get start ready. <laughs> Fire and desire, easy. For sure. 6 p.m. in New York versus Crew Love. Here we go, disagreeing again. If me and Future hadn't made it with this rapping, we'd probably be out in silicone trying to get our billions on. But here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Great tune. Oh, yeah, I love that song. That OVO and that XO is everything you believe in, I know. Love that song. <laughs> yeah, I love it too. I I feel like I used to think it hadn't aged well. And in listening to it more and more, I do kind of think it has aged well. I like that it's side-chained. Like, it, there's some interesting choices yeah. here. For it to be a big hit the way that it was, and one of those ones that stuck around as, like, in the conversation of best Drake songs, mm -hmm. it does have some interesting choices, and it has one Drake verse, and the verse is good. It's really good. So, yeah, no, I like it. I like Crew Love. Crew Love wins here. Yeah, for me too. Come Through versus Big Rings. <laughs> big Cock Rings. Frank Ocean. Got to Frank. Pour you up a drink, or we could burn some. Come through, come through. 
again with the crazy snare. He's got the plug on some sounds that are just so fucking good. <laughs> they don't let that out in the rest of the industry, yeah, you know? It's crazy. They need some really big rings. They need some really nice things. Better be coming with no strings. This one holds up for me. Oh, <laughs> It's so shit. funny. It's, it's, it's like my favorite because it's funny. It'll live forever because like the Rams just got their Super Bowl rings. Yeah. They played this. It's like a Super Bowl party song. Come through. Yeah. 4 p.m. in Calabasas versus Pop Style. Got a lot to lose because in every situation, I'm the bigger artist. Always got to play it smarter. Y'all shook up. I'm One of the best timestamp songs. I love 4 p.m. in Calabasas. I think it's my favorite out of all, all of them. It's all I ever did and look where it got in. One of my least favorite Drake songs, probably. Yeah, definitely still like trying things out that were just risks, you know? What's a risk? The way he's singing. I mean, I guess, I don't know. I think he just fumbled the bag with the Jay-Z and Kanye thing. It felt like it was a mix between All Day and Jumpman. Mm -hmm. Like it was trying to do those same flows and it set Kanye up to have one of the stupidest verses he's ever had. Yeah. Just not a good song. No. Uptown versus Six God. Uptown Drake. <laughs> With Bun B and Lil Wayne, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a good song. It's like a, it's an okay. It's the old Drake where like, I'll listen for the features. Yeah, I feel that. He feels like a little boy on that song next <laughs> to those two. I'll admit it, I'll admit it. I'll admit it. Roll the switches, hitting switches. Maybe the hardest off if you're reading this oh for me. Oh my gosh. And we learned in the samples game, Donkey Kong sample. Mm -hmm. That shit goes crazy. <laughs> yeah. I love Six God. Yeah, it's a really, really good song. Six God? Yep. Last one in the first round, we've got Child's Play versus Nice For What. Nice For What, come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, we gotta listen I to him. I know, him. I know, let's we hear gotta a little. Listen to him. Girl, that's just some Child's Play, bounce that shit like, whoa. That song gets flipped a lot. Yeah. I don't know. That's got a fun rhythm to it, but it, I mean, Jesus Christ. This is like a second grader versus the high school bully. <laughs> Everybody get your motherfucking roll on. I know shorty and she doesn't want no slow song. Oh, the Lauren Hill flip, murder on the beat. Yeah, I mean, nice for what deserves like a first round buy. Yeah. It should just show up in a later round. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That was 128 Drake songs, apparently. Mm -hmm. We did it. First round is done. No more track playing. This is straight down to business. This now. Marvin's room versus hold on, we're going home. Marvin's room can go to bed. Go back to your room, Marvin. Sleep tight. <laughs> Have a good time. Yeah, I don't like Marvin's Room that much. I understand why it's a classic, but it's like an okay song to me. It's yeah. just, I don't get in that mood like that. Yeah, I wasn't an adult when it came out either. Yeah, Hold On, We're Going Home is a better song to me. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people are gonna hate that pick, but. Fuck them, right? screw them. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself, honestly. <laughs> honestly, screw yourself. Yeah, seriously, do it. <laughs> screw yourself in the comments. All right, we got Time Flies versus Sacrifices. Sacrifices. Sacrifices, so easy. It's one of our favorites. That one's gonna fuck some shit up. I'm talking wood like them clowns. I'm gonna swear a lot for the rest of the bracket. That's cool with me. All it's right. late in the video. Susan, stop paying attention. This is kind of your warning right now. If you're sensitive to curse words, get the fuck out of here. Next, we got Tuscan Leather versus Diamonds Dancing. Tuss. Now let's think about this. <laughs> this is a tough one. Diamonds can dance their way right out of here. I'm wearing Tom Ford, smell like a brick. <laughs> Unforgettable versus Pound Cake. Oh! <laughs> cake, 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 cake. 200 cakes, I got a ton of cakes. <laughs> Headlines versus What's Next. This is the first true Really kind yeah. of difficult matchup. I'm actually having to think about this. I think it's headlines. I think so too. Yeah. On Valentine's Day, I had sex, okay? <laughs> I get it. I believe you. We'll you're... see what happens next, but for on Valentine's Day, I had sex. You're Drake. I'm sure you did. You don't have to, Jesus. We'll dude. see what's about to happen. From Time versus Six Man. Are we gonna disagree here? Hmm. Because it's not Six Man for me. I figured it wouldn't be. Yeah. <laughs> From Time is still just okay to me, but I, I'll take it over Six Man. It's a close one, though. These are two not really my favorites on their respective albums. So. Fair. Race My Mind versus Don't Matter to Me. It's Don't Matter to Me, but I know you love Race My Mind. I like Race My Mind too, but Don't Matter to Me. <laughs> it's the dead MJ feature. He died and then he got the feature and he put him on an album. It's amazing. I love the what happened there. It's it's Race My Mind easily for me. I'm taking Race My Mind. Oh, cool. Yes. All right, Over My Dead Body versus Jungle. 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 <laughs> over versus Energy. Energy. Yeah, it's Energy for me, and I know Over is a classic, and a lot of people consider that one of the best Drake songs, but I mean. Energy's sweet. Didn't you say you don't like Energy in the first round? I mean, it's still a sweet song. You like Jaded more than Energy, but you like Energy more than Over. Yes. Okay, that's fair. Take Care versus Wants and Needs. 
Controversial take here for me. Yeah, I know you're not going to pick Take Care. No, I don't like that song very much. I think I have to, though. I'm sorry. That's okay. I've got Wants and Needs. I'll take Wants and Needs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he is getting really worked <laughs> up, and it's starting to scare me a little bit, but shout out, little baby. We've got Back to Back versus 2C Slide. Now, here we go. 2C Slide's going to walk here. Oh, yeah. 2C Slide is better than Back to Back. Yeah. Back to Back is vicious. It's produced by Nav, and Nav is the GOAT. Mm -hmm. Maybe the greatest to ever touch a microphone. Probably. But 2C Slide is so fun. <laughs> it is good. And I, I mentioned it in a bunch of old videos, so if you're a new High Mind watcher, I did, it blew my mind when I realized that in 2C Slide, he's not only demonstrating the new dance, the 2C Slide, but also it works if you're describing how to moonwalk. Mm -hmm. Right foot up, left foot slide, left foot up, right foot slide, and then he has all the Michael Jackson bars. And you guys have a ton of respect for Michael Jackson, obviously, so yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, the way that we just shat on the song with mm -hmm. his posthumous feature yeah. and took race my mind over it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People are going to be like, how is 2Z slide this far in your guys' bracket? Can I versus fake love? Oh, it's can I for me. Even matchup for me, I'm going very slight edge to fake love. Okay. I think I'd rather listen to fake love than can I. Fake love. That's fine. I like both those songs. Can I is just way more sexy. No talent versus too good. Ah, yeah. Suitcase. I've been living out of suitcase. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm leaning too good, but this one, I can kind of go either way. Too good ranks higher in like the melodic dance hall Drake songs than No Tellin' does in that type of song in Drake's catalog. Yeah. But I think I'd rather listen to No Tellin'. Yeah, No Tellin'. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm going No Tellin'. Me too. Teenage Fever versus Wu Tang Forever. Teenage Fever wins here. Wu Tang Forever yeah. is like, it's not a miss on that project, but it's lower on the list for that one. Yeah, I just think the, the like I said, it's just the hook mismatched with his energy on the, on the verses mm -hmm. makes it not as good as the rest of the album to me, but Teenage Fever is like an addicting games.com sort of vibe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still here versus Summer 16. I don't know. Where are you going? Summer 16. That's what my heart's telling me, but my mind's telling me, do crimes. Wait, what? Yeah, so it's Summer 16 for me. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> what was the whole thing? Are you having like intrusive thoughts sort of deal? <laughs> what? Like, are you having like, oh, geez. What? You can tell by your facial expression that there's something... No, nothing's it's really... It's like you're happy about it being evil. <laughs> <laughs> no, everything's fine. <laughs> Are you aware that you're doing Everything's this? Everything's adding up. What are you talking about? Doing what? I don't know. Like you're talking to me normal, kind yeah. of like straight face sort yep. of thing. And then all of a sudden you turn the other way and you do like an evil smile and you started even doing like kind of like villain character thing. I've been looking at you this whole time. None of them know our planes coming together. Yeah, no, it's definitely summer 16, but are it's you, a close call. Are you plotting something? Is there anything you're working on? Like a plot? What? Scheme? No, I'm just... Evil plan? Finally. All our hard work shall come to fruition. <laughs> <laughs> Ground. What? <laughs> I don't know. You're just acting a little weird today. That's all. Yeah. All right. Mob Ties versus Legend. I love Mob Ties, but it's Legend. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I do love Mob Ties, though. <laughs> if I die, do you think I'm a motherfucking legend? That's not really for me to decide. I know you two personally. Like, I can't can't be like my best my best bud's a legend. Like, it's weird. Last week when we were playing beer pong, you're like, dude, you're a fucking legend, bro. Yeah, you won me twenty bucks. Bro, you're a fucking legend, bro. And you butt chugged half a case, so. so? That's normal for me. No, that's a legendary shot. Other side, let's get it. Know Yourself versus 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for me. Really? Yeah. Oh, fuck. It's Know Yourself for me. But, I mean, they're similar in a certain way. They are. They have, like, that anthemic, mm -hmm. big man Drake voice, you know? <laughs> God, he is a... Big man Drake big voice. Big, sweaty man. <laughs> <laughs> Masculine, drizzy. <laughs> Fucking beard on that guy. I'm taking woes, baby. Okay, yeah, Know Yourself. I already knew that based on Grant's upbringing. What? I just remember you saying that you and your friends played that song like 30 times on repeat when the album came out. We threw a party my parents were gone. <laughs> yep. Everyone should know that. Mama is not around. <laughs> Daddy is not around. <laughs> <laughs> Too much versus Lemon Pepper Freestyle. Rick Ross. Bing. <laughs> Are you shooting Rick Ross dead? Just with like a ping pong gun though? Oh, okay. Those... He'll be all right. Yeah, that's why I said bing. Oh, okay. It's just kind of like... Uh, this is a controversial take. I'm gonna... I would rather listen to Lemon Pepper Freestyle. <laughs> too Much is an amazing song, but I would rather listen to Lemon Pepper Freestyle. Uh, I'm, taking, I'm taking Too Much. Yeah, I figured. Drake raps his 
ass off on lemon pepper freestyle, and he doesn't even pick it up off the ground. It it's fell true. to the ground and he left it there. He left his whole ass on the floor on that song. After Dark versus Ice Melts. Let's keep it adult here. It's After Dark. I would rather listen to Ice Melts, but I recognize that After Dark is a better song. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's like a smoking section at an old Arby's. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's how the beef gets the flavor. Sig beef. <laughs> <laughs> Tobacco flavored beef. Mm -hmm. Sneakin' versus Chicago Freestyle. Shy Town. Chicago Freestyle. Worst Behavior versus Used To. I think it's Used To. Yeah, I, I think used to is better than worse behavior. I don't like the hard knocking stuff on nothing was the same. Like when he's trying to be tough guy muscle Drake, he wasn't in form yet. He's still kind of in the incubation chamber. He need to get his weight up. Galchester versus In My Feelings. Samuel L. Jackson. Bing. Um, in my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Kiki, Do You Love Me. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh Now, Cry Later versus Finesse. We are going to disagree here. Yeah, it's Finesse. It's Laugh Now, Cry Later for me. Big I'm, triumphant banger. I'm fine with both these songs, and if Laugh Now wins, it's cool. But it's Finesse for me. I'm taking Laugh Now, Cry Later. You guys aren't common sex havers, so. You're not a common sense haver, so. <laughs> it's all coming together. All right, let's get on to the next matchup. Forever versus God's Plan. God's plan. <laughs> yeah. I think we should go with God's plan, but let's not, tell, let's not tell them what's going on. Just I think it. God's plan should probably move on. For sure. Better song than forever, right? Yeah. yeah. But they don't have to know. Okay. Just move it. Maybe they won't notice. God's plan. Hotline Bling versus Preach. I'm taking Hotline Bling here. Me too. Yeah, I think Hotline Bling is categorically a better song than Preach. Hotline Bling. Best I ever had versus Controlla. Controlla. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is not the best I've ever had. Smash the Controlla. Raging. Started from the bottom versus With You. It's With You for me. It started from the bottom for me. I'm taking Started from the Bottom. Oh, man. And I know I just said I don't really like the hard songs on that, but this is the exception. Jimmy Cooks versus Passion Fruit. I'm really excited to eliminate Jimmy Cooks here. Are you? Yeah, because yeah. I'm choosing Passion Fruit, and I hope you are. I Yeah, I'm going to pick Passion Fruit, but I do want to leave you guys with this, which is... Spun the block twice, like there ain't nowhere to park. Nice. Stuff like that. Yeah. It really gets me going. It's a great bar. Yeah. Lord Knows versus 10 Bands. I really don't like 10 Bands, man. Well, you know me. I used to go to hardcore shows, so I always like 10 Bands. Yeah, it's true. I'm going to go Lord Knows. 10 Bands. I'm going Lord Knows. Oh. Fire and Desire versus Crew Love. Man, for as much as I love Crew Love, I think it's Fire and Desire. Crew Love, it's way harder for me. I never really got the Fire and Desire hype. It's a good song, but it did not like blow me away the way it did to other people. I'm right on the fence here, because I'll listen to both these songs usually five, seven, eight times a day each. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a whole lot. I did not yeah. know that. Yeah, it's a, it's a waste of time. A lot of people have said. <laughs> I don't know. I almost, I kind of want to just agree with you. Is that okay? Yeah, you can go back on, on what you said. Okay, yeah, because I love crew love. If you loving the crew, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> come through versus 4 p.m. in Calabasas. Come through. Yeah, it's come through. For sure. Not even really close. Shout out Calabasas High School, though. Six God versus Nice for What? Nice for what? Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the Six God. That song's not as good as Nice for What. Nice for What could win this son of a bitch, like I said earlier about that other song. <laughs> uh, it's Nice for What because, like, there is objective truth in the world and all that sort of shit, but Six God is so good. I'm sad to see it go. So now we're on to the third round. Hold on, we're going home versus Sacrifices. Sacrifices takes this, I think, here, just on feature strength, too. I love Hold on, we're going home, but... Just hold on, we're going home. Going home! This is like a Drake song you can show to your mom, and she's gonna like it. My mom fucks with Drake's whole cat catalog. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. She's a total Draker. <laughs> they call them Drakers? <laughs> That's what she calls herself. I'm not gonna correct her. She's my fucking mom. Personal bias, I'm going Sacrifices, but it's a close one for yeah. me. Tuscan Leather versus versus Pound Cake. This is like a final matchup. This is like two of the best Drake songs of all time. This one's really easy for me. Yeah? Pound Cake. And it's easy for me the other way. Yeah. Tuscan Leather is a better song than Pound Cake to me for this reason. It's like the beat on Pound Cake is incredible. Drake holds his own. Jay-Z has a funny verse. Ain't nothing funny about it. Cake, 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 cake. That's a pound cake. That's funny to you? Carrot cake. It is funny. Ha, ha, ha. It's Tuscan Leather for me. Six minutes of rapping. Yeah, it's a great song. I'm taking Cakey Cake Cake. Really? Whoa, I'm surprised by that. Cake boss, you and me, we're the cake boss now. Headlines versus From Time. From Time. Yeah, I'll go From Time on this one. We gotta get all the take care shit out of here. It's close though. <laughs> it is very, it is close for me. Yeah. I will say that. I like headlines quite a bit. Race My Mind versus Jungle. Dun, dun, Not close. Dun, 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 jungle. Energy versus Wants and Needs. It's energy for me. It's energy for me too. Tusi Slide versus Fake Love. <laughs> it's Tusi Slide again. <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah. It's Tusi Slide for me too. Tuesday slide's better. 
I'm not leaning into this either. Like, I like 2C Slide more than Fake Club. Yeah, I'm not leaning into some sort of bit. I already know. It's in the comments. Like, what is wrong with these dudes? Blah, 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 blah. 2C Slide's a better song than Fake Love. No Telling versus Teenage Fever. Teenage Fever, which for me was the chicken pox because I got it late. I remember you getting that. Fuck. Yeah. And mine was the swine flu. Yeah. Yeah, I had 108 fever. I had 110. Oh, did I say 108? I meant 111 <laughs> fever. Yeah. You said 111? Yeah. It was I bad. had a 234 degree fever with the chicken pox. This shit feel like teenage fever. <laughs> Summer 16 versus legend. It goes to legend here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I wasn't expecting that, but yeah, it's legend. Know yourself versus too much. It's know yourself for me Get by fucked. a lot. Grant's not gonna agree with you. It's definitely know yourself. Fuck! Yeah, it's better than too much. Yeah. No, it's not. After Dark versus Chicago Freestyle. These deserve to go up against each other. Um, It's After Dark though. It's Chicago Freestyle for me. After Dark. Really? Yeah. I'm surprised by that. I don't know. I feel like Chicago Freestyle is such a classy banger. Used to versus In My Feelings. Inside of my feelings. Shit. I think I'm gonna go In My Feelings. I think it's just, it's too undeniable. But Used To is one of, it's just, I love that. So I don't know. Yeah. I'm just gonna go In My Feelings. I think it is In My Feelings. Laugh Now, Cry Later versus God's Plan. These deserve to go up against each other as well. Yeah, these it's, are, these make sense together. It's Laugh Now, Cry Later. It is for me too. Too. Yeah, it's weird. I think that was the first time I voted for laugh now cry later But uh, up against God's plan like these are two that you're always gonna hear out They're two that people are gonna chant and sing and like God's plan I don't know if it's just worn on me too much. Yeah, it's not as enjoyable of a listen as laugh now cry later I get more excited when laugh now cry later plays out in public hotline bling versus controller controller Contro Yeah, it's controller controller is better than hotline bling. I think it really is. I do too All right started from the bottom versus passion fruit passion fruit. Thank God. We haven't talked about the fruit Fruit enough either. God, is that thing good? I've never had a passion fruit. It's fruit floats in a little sack. I think I've already described this before. Yeah. It's a floating sack. Yeah, floating fruit <laughs> sack. And it is a natural aphrodisiac. Unlike oysters, which a lot of people think are. That's a myth, yeah. Lord knows versus crew love. We got a take care match up here. I'm loving the crew. <laughs> yeah, it's crew love, but barely, honestly. Those are two of my favorites off of take care. <laughs> I barely love the crew. That's what I will say. <laughs> Come through versus nice for what? This is the hardest matchup in this section of the bracket for me. I, I don't want to go until you do. I still, I'm literally still thinking. It's nice for what for me? Explosive banger, soundtrack of a generation. Come Through is an awesome song, but I think nice for what is just, just better. I agree. Oh, he is losing. I it. agree. <laughs> I agree. That's part of my brain trying to stop me. Yeah. That's the part of my brain. I'll come through. On to the next round. I think we're at 16 yep. now. Sacrifices versus pound cake. I got the, all the love for sacrifices, and I know you're probably going to choose it here, but I'm going with the PC. This one is super close for me, but personal bias takes sacrifices for me, but I know that pound cake should win. Yeah. I am taking pound cakey. Grant, you have such a way with words. <laughs> We've said all these song titles so many times. We just have to start kind of changing them. <laughs> yeah. Putting a little twist. We're <laughs> gonna have one. fun. Yeah. <laughs> From time versus jungle. Jungie. Jungie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's jungle time, baby. <laughs> now we got energy versus 2C slide. Uh, I've been amazed every time I've said it, but it's <laughs> fucking 2C slide. It's not for me anymore. Energy sucks. I'm I'm going energy. That's crazy. No 2C slide matchup has been tossed to Grant, yeah. so I don't even know what he thinks about it. Yeah. I'm taking energy. Yeah. Okay. That I'm honestly happy because if 2C slide continued into the Elite Eight, I think there'd be a mob at our house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. At our shared one bedroom apartment that we live in. Bert and Ernie style. I'm Bert. I know I want to be Bert. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Teenage Fever versus Legend. Teenage Fever. Teeny Fever is what I'm going to call it from now on. Well, I don't think we're going to have to say it again. It's okay. Legend. These are two of my favorites, though. I think these are both top five Drake songs for yeah. me, but Legend is it takes it for me. So it goes to Grant. Yeah, I'll take Teen Fever. Bye bye. I am flabbergasted. <laughs> Legend is like okay. You just said Teenage Fever is a top five too. It is, but <sighs> now it's in the eight, and you're upset. Legend's number one for me. Oh really? I didn't know that. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't. If I would have known that, I would have. I'm sorry, I wouldn't have been so hard on you. Feel no ways and Legend are my two favorite Drake songs. That's all I'm gonna say. Fuck. 
Shut up. You should have said something. Shut dude. up. You really should have said something Shut the earlier. Fuck up. Know yourself versus after dark. After dark. It's know yourself for me. Yeah, I'm taking no guy. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, you gotta know thyself. I think after dark might have been my top boy. In my feelings versus laugh now, cry later. In my feelings. I'm going laugh now, cry later. I'm also doing that. I'm doing laughing and crying. <laughs> <laughs> laughing and crying. I don't know why I love that song so much. It does feel a little cheap that it's this far, but I like it. I just I think it's a really good song. You'd probably get an infinity. Infinity pool if you were a millionaire too. You'd be like, oh, where's the edge? <laughs> <laughs> it's cheap. It's tacky. <laughs> That's just saying it's cool. Like if your friend has one, I'm just not. <laughs> Swimming in pools makes my skin too dry. I can't even have a pool. Oh, really? I cannot swim. I, my eczema oh. goes, That's not, Fuck. I fucking you hate you. Fuck. This sucks. I hate Fuck. the dynamic we've decided to settle on for this part of the bracket. It sucks. Oh, shit, man. I didn't know pools dried you out like that. <laughs> Controller versus passion fruit. No. These two deserve to be up against each other. They deserve to live together though, together in <laughs> harmony. <laughs> it's passion fruit for me. It's controller for me. I'm taking fruits. Yes. Show me your fruit. Crew love versus nice for what? This sucks, but it, I mean, nice for what's got to walk here. Yeah, nice for what beats crew love. Nice for what's like the best beat I think he's ever been on. All right, we are to our elite eight. Eight. I'm not listing them. We're just gonna go straight into them. Fuck yeah. Pound cake versus jungle. Oh fuck. I thought it was gonna get easier for some reason. No. This is jungle for me by a mile. I know. I literally just said pound. Ah! <laughs> fuck. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh shit, I daddy. Been, I would have made an easier matchup for you if I knew. Oh shit, pops. I don't know which yeah. one. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Hey, listen. We can stop whenever you want. This one's gonna really upset me. Drink. Oh, you're not empathetic towards that. I thought you were doing the. I'm done with it. It's like a, with the uh, empath thing. Yeah, I ran out of gas. Ah. Can I rip your two front teeth out? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it's jungle. Jungle it is. Just move on. Go. Right, Get out right. of here. Energy versus teenage fever. Teen. Teen yeah. fever wins here. Yeah, it's teenage fever for me here, but I just. Oh, I just want Legend to be here so bad. Teenage Fever is a slept on song. Never even comes up. I think it's not even on most of the brackets I've watched. Yeah, I think you're right. Like, I don't know why. That song is incredible. Know Yourself versus Laugh Now, Cry Later. Here's where my LNCL, that's where my love of that song goes out the window and I gotta pick Know Yourself. I don't think I've, I voted for Know Yourself in the first round and I missed it the last two rounds. I'm back on the train, baby. I'm back on board. I'm buying the jersey. I'm with my Wodies. Passion Fruit versus Nice For What? I'm letting you pick first here. Nice For What? Passion Fruit. I'm gonna go, uh, yeah, I'll go Fruit Fruit City. Fruit City, all right, Passion Fruit. Final four, two more life, two, if you're reading this, it's too late. Didn't see this coming. Jungle versus Teenage Fever. I think this is where the Cinderella run comes to an end. I'm going Jungle. Me too. Yeah. This is where St. Vincent, St. Ludacris marries, gets <laughs> blown out by Duke in the final four. St. Vincent, St. Ludacris? I don't know, it sounds like a small school. <laughs> yeah, it does. You really just threw Ludacris' name into LeBron's high school. <laughs> That's pretty much all you did. <laughs> huh? You said St. Vincent, St. Ludacris marries. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. That is what I did. Know yourself versus passion fruit. I'm going passion fruit here. I'm going passion fruit here as well, but it is microscopic close. Micro me. penis. <laughs> passion fruit versus jungle is our final two. What are we, two little sad boys or something? I don't think anybody would have expected this. So I'm putting a poll up in the chat right now. Future me, jungle or passion fruit. Hit the comments. Let us know what should be here, what should have won, what we fucked up on, what we suck at, what we're not so good at, our weaknesses, our flaws. Let mm -hmm. us know what the mistakes we've made in the past and how <laughs> that'll affect our future. Let us know our physical flaws as well. What makes us not look as good. Let us know our bad outfit choices. Let us know when we stumbled upon our words. Let us know how we could have been better to our families and friends along the way and how we opted for selfishness. <laughs> Passion fruit or jungle? What is the best Drake song? Junji. It's Jungle for me. <laughs> it's Jungle for me as well. I think that's his best song. I feel bad not letting Grant get an opinion in on here, but which would you have picked, Grant? I would have picked Jungle. Okay. Okay. I would have picked Know Yourself last round though. Okay. Know yourself over passion fruit. Yeah. Just so that we can have it clear, mm -hmm. because jungle is going to win. Jungle is the winner of our bracket. That is our hive minded pick. Mm -hmm. That's how we do them. What are your top couple Drake songs? And I'll give mine as well. Give your four, I'm thinking. My four, Legend, Feel No Ways, Jungle and Tuscan Leather. Those are my four. I think Sacrifices and Pound Cake are in my top four. Okay. And then After Dark and Jungle. And Grant? Mine are Come Through, Know Yourself, Six God, and Blue Tint. Those are Grant's top four. Let us know your top four Drake songs down in the comments. Let us know if you enjoyed the bracket or if you're impossibly angry at us and will never forgive us.
Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all that stuff I said at the beginning. Also subscribe to our second channel, Hive Mind Unlimited. It is linked in the description. We've got a bracket out over there right now of gas station snacks. Check that out and comment which bracket we should do next. Graydon, please leave these people with some advice to leave their lives by. To find yourself, think for yourself. All right, this has been I'm TV. Love you, appreciate you. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, mom. I know you love Drizzy. <laughs> I'm sorry for all the bad pics I made. <laughs> Little boys doing YouTube, <laughs> and you make it all possible. Sometimes I'm scared to get vulnerable. Chicken tender. <laughs> if I shit, piss, or puke during this, don't be upset, all right? It's because I'm nervous. That's fine. Well, they asked me, do you know Nicki Minaj or Beyonce? Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> we